Welcome back first tonight on Channel 7. We just told the coaches are out of the way now, but the teams retain the seed. Evelyn Waboku, uh, plays for River St. Just, she has taken the seed of coach Edwin Okor and Joy Victor Idaku, formerly Joy Jagade. Uh, but don't see the rings. It's, it's a lot of things. has changed. Uh, so that's Joy Victor Idaku now. Uh, it's good to have you ladies in the studio. Thank you, sir. Uh, so I started with coach Edwin Okor, so let me go to Joy. Uh, Joy, I, what are you looking forward to in the uh, Super 4? Super Bowl, the best four teams that are here are Baisa, Rivers, Nasarawa, and Sunshine. We hope to get a good game out of this place. Hopefully, we will leave the trophy this time around. Mm. Say Baisa. Baisa Queen. Uh, okay, just a second. Because you will really let us say that. And you just uh, uh, it's normal. Uh, it's normal <laughs> for us to say that. Every team that yeah. came, here, came here to win. Yeah. I think she's right yeah. by saying that. In the last season, the league was, was really competitive. And what do you think is responsible for this development that we're seeing in women's football? Competitive. Yeah, it was really competitive. As in the Super 4? Yeah. Oh, I think it was a sponsor because the Edo State's mm -hmm. governor came in and they really helped in bringing the teams together because I think um, all they did last season, they, they, they removed the financial burdens from most of the teams. So I think that's 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 the difference. Mm. Mm. So uh, Joy, if you if you look at it, the league also is getting better. Uh, what can we do to get more ladies to play football? It just to start from the grassroots, like the secondary school game, maybe a festival team. If you can come from there again, mm. if there is other teams, maybe like a local competition, you can pick from there to start from somewhere. Mm. Yeah, the, you can get also a good starts. I, I totally agree. Even though you've played football outside the country, what is it that they're doing that we can do here? Yeah, I think it has to do with organization. And um, they have to put in a lot of money into the female teams also. Like, mm -hmm. I think they have to go back to like how we all started. They have to go back to secondary schools. It used to be this competition we played then back in school. Prince Pass Cup. Mm -hmm. I think from there you get to get um, a lot of talent. Mm -hmm. So I think... Aside that, it just has to do with finances. Mm. They have to put in a lot of money. That's right. That's right. Money needs to go into it. And that's what our Coach Moses and Coach Edwin also said. Sponsorship, support, support needs to go into women's football. So let's talk about the match tomorrow, Joy. It's by us Queens versus Sunshine Queens. Um, do you have any worries for that one? Oh, there's no worry at all. Not at all. Because in the game of football, it's win, lose, or you draw. But most especially... You as a player, when going in, you must go with all heart that he wants to win. Mm. But Sunshine Queens, they've, they've shown that they can create upsets. Doesn't that in any way uh, worry by us Queens? They're also a good side. Yeah. Just that we just pray to carry the day be at the end of tomorrow's game. Mm. Coach Edwin Okun says, once beating. Shy. Uh, shy. It's not Sarah Amazons tomorrow for River St. Angels. How are you going to do that one? Ah, it's a no I think it's a normal game. We all came here knowing that we will face each other at one point or the other. And I think last season they defeated us at um, Benin. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't call this a revenge, but it's, it's a normal football game. But we just hope to come out at the top. Mm. There's this rivalry, Joy, between Rivers Angels and Bayosa Queens. I'm, you, you, you girls are supposed to be sisters and neighbors. Why do we have that rivalry between Rivers Angels and Bayosa? Um, one, we are neighbors back home. And again, we have stars. They also, they also have stars too. We're good. They are good side too. Most especially, we will create the avenue of who are the best. Mm -hmm. Likewise, them too. At the end, sometimes for towards the win and also for them to win. It's always like that. Mm, I know. What are some of the experiences from last year that you think can work for Rivers Angels this year in the Super 4? Um, yes, I think last season... Um, we prepared, but when we got to Benin, we um, so many things. Like I think we came in with some new set of players, and 
For this year, I think it's it's same players that played um, the season for last year. So I think for now we've blended enough. As in, there is this team cohesion within us. So I think that's an advantage for us. Mm, mm, so they can actually use that. So uh, it's for tonight on Channel's Television. We're taking a look at the NWFL Super Four. It will kick off tomorrow in Lagos at the Agege Stadium. So if you've got some time and you love women's football, oh, come on, we, we, we urge you to come out and support women's football. The best they are in town. Rivers Angel, Biosa Queens, Sunshine Queens, and the champions, Nasara Amazons. They want to let us know that what men can do, oh, women can, can do, do better. Too. better. So <laughs> that's it. So we will be making our time to go out to watch watch them. So at the end of this Super Fort by um, Joy, um, what will it be for by us at Queens? Whether or not you're winning, what kind of experience are you expecting from it? Oh, we're expecting a good game. A game we know at the end of where we're able to leave the trophy in this tournament. Have a good backup at home. Maybe especially our governor, our sponsor, I know that. I believe we'll get that and we'll get that. Yes, I so, but do you, do you think you, you girls have prepared enough? Yes, yes, yes. we prepared very well. As long as we become, we resume. Is number of them in training, like our schools normally say, we should be hungry to play, hungry to win. Mm. Hungry to play, hungry to win, and yeah. those opponents will give you the food oh, that you want yeah. to eat. Evelyn, River Angels have dominated women's football for quite some time now. What's responsible? Consistency. Mm. I think we're consistent and we always want to win. We have that and winning men mentality amongst us. Whichever game we face, we face it that way we want to win. Our coach, like everyone knows, Coach Okon, he doesn't, he doesn't like to be on the losing side. And I, I think he has instilled that in us. That even when we even play in a friendly match against the boys, we go all out to win. And I think this is not an exception. Mm. Okay, so we'll be looking forward to that. The teams are ready. Rivers Angels wants it. Uh, Bayosa Queens wants it. Mm -hmm. Sunshine Queens, I'm sure they also want it. And Nasara Amazons will be saying they will retain their title, but hey, it's just one trophy. Oh, so yes. the best team will win it. Evelyn, thank you so much for stopping oh, okay. by. And of course, Joy Victor Idaku. I had to write that so there will be no wow. fight out. Thank you. <laughs> Formerly Joy Jagade, thank you so much, ladies, and all the best with Thanks, your football. Sir. Thank you. And thank of you. course, to you, wherever you are in the world watching sports tonight on Channels TV, thank you so much. But remember, let's keep the conversation going. On Twitter, we are channels underscore sports. Facebook channels, I think sports. You can send us an email, sports tonight at channels tv.com. That's the show for the team. I'm Austin Okonakman. In everything you do, remember, keep talking sports right for now. <laughs>